Alright, Matrix, um, so let's continue. Now we're at state-owned companies. I've just hidden the sole trade and partnerships because we're not um, comparing this to them anymore. And I've uh, showed, I've combined these um, forms of ownership in green because they've got one common denominator. They're all legal entities. And um, I missed one thing in a previous slide with public companies. Their name must end with LTD, right? Not PTY LTD. This is the difference between a private and a public company, as well as that a private company can't sell shares to the public. Whereas a private or public company can, but why? They're listed on the JSE. Okay, so a SOC is it stands for a state-owned company. That is a company that has got the government as the uh, is the majority shareholder. All right, so they've got fifty-one percent um, of the shares. It falls under public enterprises, the department, and we know that's run by our current minister of Pravin Gordon. Right, uh, the company takes on the, the state owned companies takes on the role to support the private companies. Why they need to provide infrastructure, communication, um, and some of them um, are it's ESCOM, SAA, Transnet, Telcom, Sandpark, South African Postal Office. It's so big that the private company can't do it, the public company can't do it. So the government has to step in. And the only way to effectively do it is to run it as a business. But we've seen what happens if it's. Um, not run as a business and now uh, one of the new um, heads at ESCOM, a uh, really exciting CEO to watch and how he's turned around the space. Um, yeah, he's really running it as a business. So I am, I'm hopeful to see that there's going to be a big turnaround. Um, if I'm proven wrong, I doubt it, but I've got uh, faith that he can do it. All right. But there must be at least, and we know that there must be a minimum of one shareholder, right? Um, in in a, a state-owned company, the state, the state can be the only shareholder, but there must be at least uh, three directors on board. That's just for accountability. That's why you have directors that can jump in, move it, um, and that's the role of the new CEO, is a director at, at ESCOM. Risk, the risk is shared, um, not aired, <laughs> risk is shared. Uh, it's not, that means not this, the one person doesn't carry all the risk. The profit, profit is shared um, according to dividends um, to the shareholders. Again, if there's a shareholder, then profit is shared um, in dividends. But if we think about um, who's the majority of the shareholder, that is the government, right? And they use that funding to fund other departments. So they use the public enterprise sphere to, to fund it. Um, tax, believe it or not, a state-owned company, as it's a registered legal entity, as it must be um, registered with the register of companies, the name ends with the SOC, state-owned company, or SOE, state-owned enterprise. Um, and it must be registered with a memorandum of incorporation with the register of um, companies. And therefore, they pay standard company tax. Right. If we think about personal interest, they don't have personal interest. Auditing of the financial statements. Um, according to my knowledge, it should be a requirement, right, to um, audit the statements because it's a state company, right? It should be transparent in what they're doing. Um, so if there's a lack of transparency, that means it's a bit of a, a problem, right, to know what's exactly going on. Um, so, yeah, it is a requirement to... Um, have the statements audited and um, there's no personal interest because they render such a big service capital again it's um, by the issuing of shares issuing of shares and now here's an important one right it's listed as a public company on the jse so it can sell shares to the public all right it can sell shares to the public but we sometimes think, you know, it's just a government business, so only the government, it can only be the government, but they issue shares to the public. People have bought shares in 